In question 3 of this exercise, we have to find two numbers whose sum is 27 and whose product is 182. So let's say that one of the numbers is x. Now because the sum of the numbers is 27, the second number must be 27 minus x. So because the sum of the two numbers is 27, we can assume the two numbers to be of the form x and 27 minus x. Now we are also told that the product of the numbers is 182 and this means that x times 27 minus x is equal to 182 and this gives us a quadratic equation in x. Let's write it in the standard form. So we get 27x minus x square on the LHS. This is equal to 182. Now let's move all the terms on the LHS to the right hand side. So we get x square minus 27x plus 182 equal to 0. So this quadratic equation models the situation given to us in the problem statement. Now to solve it, we will split the middle term minus 27x by finding two numbers p and q whose sum is equal to minus 27 which is the coefficient of x and whose product is equal to the coefficient of x square which is 1 times the constant term so that's 182. Now to find these terms you will have to think a little bit about what factors 182 has. So 182 can be written as 13 times 14 and we can see that 13 plus 14 is equal to 27. So this means that the two numbers which we need to split the middle term are minus 13 and minus 14. So let's split the middle term using these numbers. So we get x x square minus 13x minus 14x plus 182 equal to 0. And now we can factorize this quadratic equation easily. Now from the first pair of terms, let's take out a common factor of x. So we get x times x minus 13. And from the second pair, we take out a common factor of minus 14. And once again, we get x minus 13. So this is equal to 0. So now we have a common factor of x minus 13. So let's take that out. So x minus 13. And then we are left with x minus 14 equal to 0. And now we can see that the two roots of this equation are x equal to 13 and x equal to 14. So if x is equal to 13, then the first number is 13 and the second number is 27 minus 13, which is 14. And if the th uh, first, if we take x equal to 14, then the first number is 14 and the second number is 27 minus x or 13. So in both cases of the roots, we get the same pair of numbers. We get 13 and 14. So the answer is that the two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182 are 13 and 14. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.